Hello there and welcome to a Math-tastic Tuesday. Today we're going to look at patterns on a hundreds chart. We're going to look at what place is it in. Place and value are so important in math. And lastly, we're going to order numbers, counting by 10. So here we'll start with 47. Here we'll start with 79 and jump around. So, welcome to this Math-tastic Tuesday. Let's get started. What is 10 less than 425? What is 20 less than 425? And what is 30 less than 425? So notice here we have a hundreds chart, but hundreds charts follow the same pattern for whatever hundreds that you're in. So if we were to put a 400 here and 400 all over this board, this would be 401, all over the board, it would follow the same pattern until we got to 500. So I can mentally turn this hundreds chart into any group of hundreds that I'd like to. So 425 would be right here. 10 less, I would go up. So that would be 415. And we can tell that 10 less, it would be a one in the tens place because here I have two. So now I'm gonna do 20 less than 425. So here I'm still on the board, 10, 20. So remember if I said if I put that 400 in front, that would be 405. This is where it becomes a little tricky because this next number, see here, 10, 20, 30, would be in the previous 100. So see how this is 401? The previous 100, which this would be 400 here, this would be 399. See, 500, this was 499. If I go all the way up and I wanna go 10, 20, 30, this is the question mark, I would go into the previous 100. So here, I have 425, 415, 405. In the previous 100, this would be 395. 395. So it's very important to know how to cross over hundreds, just like it's important to know how to cross over tens. When I move down to the place in the value, if I say this number 47, 40 I know is a 10, and seven is just a one. So this is in the ones place. And the value of that seven is seven. Here I have 15, which is a teen number. So I know a teen number is 10 and some ones. So here's the 10 in the tens place. The value is 10. Next, I have 427. The 20 is underlined in the tens place and the value is 20. Excellent work, I know you got that. We've been practicing that this whole time. Now here, my directions say I'm counting by 10, and I have to look at all of the numbers in my pattern. So this ones place stays the same, so I'm pretty sure the ones place will stay the same, and my tens place is what's changing. So I have 47, 57, 67, 
77, 87, and look, here's my 97. That lets me know that I followed the pattern. Now over here, I have some jumps all around, but the pattern I noticed that's the same is in the ones place I have a nine. Even though it even goes up to a hundred here, my ones place still has a nine. So I'm gonna put that in my ones place. And remember it's my tens place that's changing, but here I end up in a hundred, so I might need to go into a hundred since it stops at 99 here. So 79, 89, I have 99. So I have to keep going up. This will be 109. Then I have 119. And look, there's 129. Counting by 10. Excellent job. If you need to go to the hunters chart to see the pattern, you can see the pattern. 79.89, that's right here on my chart. 99, and remember, it just starts back over at the top with the new 100. It just starts back over at the top with the new 100. Excellent work today. See you tomorrow. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.